Hello, my name is Jack and today I'm going to be showing you how to count, how to count in binary. This is binary and binary is understood by computers. Computers think in binary and this is different to how people think. People think in 1, 2, 10. 1, 2, 10. So how are these different? How are they different? Well, 1 to 10 has digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. But actually, 10 is two numbers. So, actually we have 0 to 9. And this is 10 digits. This is 10 digits. Binary only has 0 and 1. So it has 2 digits. And when we count, when we are counting in decimal with 10 numbers, we say 1, 2, three and when we get to nine we go back to zero and we put a one here and then we carry on so we say 11 12 13 and when we get to 19 we do the same we put a zero and we put a two here but if we only have 0 and 1, like this, we say 0, we say 1, and then we go back to 0 again, and we put a 1 here, and this equals 2. So what we can see, actually, is that when we have a number in decimal, say 987, this number has three parts. It has ones, tens, and one hundreds. So it's the same as saying nine times one hundred plus 8 times 10 plus 7 times 1, which equals 987. In binary, say, this binary number also has three parts, but we have 1, 2, and 4. We have 1, 2, and 4. And this is like saying 1 times 4 plus 1 times 1 equals 5. So this equals 5. What you can see is that these are times in by 2 each time. And these are times in by 10 each time. And this is because we have 10 digits and we have 2 digits. You can think of this a bit like, imagine I have a light bulb. Imagine I have a light switch, a light switch, and I have a, a light bulb. 
This light bulb can be off, which is zero, or it can be on. It can be on, which is one. This has two combinations, off and on. If I have another switch and I have another light bulb, this also can be off or on. If I take the two together, it can either be off and off, which is zero, zero, off and on, which is zero, one. It can be on and on, which is one, one, or it can be off and on, which is one, zero. So we have zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. And this has four combinations. We have four combinations. But if we go here, this is four. So the highest one is three. So one, one equals three. So we have zero, one, two, I hope that makes sense and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.